So this is going to be my January 2011 review slash hauls. Now the reason I do hauls and, and reviews together is because I'm the kind of shopper I don't do one big purchase. I usually do like in a week I can go to CVS, Walgreens, Target, wherever I can go around every day to a different place. And everywhere I go, I have to purchase one, two, or three things. So it makes no sense doing a CVS haul for those two things I purchased. Do you feel me? So that's why I just do these collective hauls at the end of the month. And then I also can do the reviews with them because I would be using these products for the month. So now I can not only do the haul, but I can tell you how I feel about the product. So for me, it works out better that way. So let's get started on our review slash haul. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I am subscribed to InStyle Magazine and I just received my newest, um, my newest, whatever, newest magazine in the mail. And one of the, num the number one product that they were raving about and that you should try out is the new Maybelline Fit Me line. <clears throat> So I had seen it before I saw it in the magazine, but I was like, mm, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it, but then I saw that they were raving about it. So I decided to go and purchase it. Now when looking around like everywhere for this line, because I originally had seen it, but I wasn't interested. And then when I saw it in the magazine, they were raving. So I decided to go back, but they didn't have it in my shade. So I had to go back to several different Walgreens, several different CVSs, and I finally found it. Now, this is the, um, let me see if you can see, it's Fit Me, and this is in the shade 310. It's from Maybelline, and I also got the Fit Me, this blush is in, I'll tell you the name right now, Deep Rose. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's not that pigmented not that pigmented which i don't really like i was expecting it to be a little bit more pigmented but and that's that this is a really dark color like if i would have gotten it like a, a, a more neutral color or a bronzer I, I feel like it wouldn't really have shown now with the maybelline um, foundation i'm giving it three out of five stars the reason for that is because I like that it's a duo. It has sunscreen already in it and it's a foundation. I tend not to wear sunscreen even though I should. I really recommend for you to wear sunscreen because you do need protection. It's very important for you to be protecting your face, especially in the sun. <clears throat> but I tend not to because I feel like it's an extra step that I just don't like taking. Anyway, so I like that this is already in it. But I don't know if any of you have used the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Now the issues that I have with that is that it's like they're meant for camera use. So when you use it on a regular basis, I don't know. But for me, it feels like they're very lightweight, but it feels like they show every imperfection in your face. Not that they show it, but like you can see like every little bump on your face. And I don't really like that. So, I mean, it has its pros and cons. It's very lightweight. It has SPF 18, actually. And those are the good, two good points. But I really don't like that you can see everything. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's something that I would wear every day. But, like, if I wanted to do something, like, if I was going to a special event, I wouldn't recommend it. Next, I'm going to the L'Oreal Paris um, Studio Secret, Secrets Anti-Redness. I like this because I tend to be really red around the eye area. And I like to use this before I put any, before I put my primer on, before I put on anything. After I put my face primer, I put this on and it eliminates any redness so I can start with a blank canvas as opposed to like having to conceal that with my primer or anything I like that now with this one is very liquidy like it's liquid so it's very easy to blend 
and you don't need that much product like you can this will last you for a really long time i believe because with a little product it goes a long way the next thing i want to talk about is the covergirl olay concealer and this has saved me so much time i really recommend this concealer i love it like i really love it i'm i used to wear the mac um concealer but i love like seriously i use this every single day the next product i'm going to talk about is this revlon which is a new line it's revlon color but color burst lipstick and it's in this hot pink and i was really excited about it because i love this color but unfortunately, it kind of disappointed me. Boo. It kind of disappointed me because I felt like it was going to be more pigmented. Like, that's a swatch. You know, I felt like it was really going to be this color. And then when I got it, it's like not bad at all, as you can tell. So I was kind of disappointed. I mean, like, in order to get anything similar to this color, you have to apply lots of layers on. And I don't really like that. Like... I wish it was just like a matte color and I and you know I got it because a lot of girls have been raving about this on YouTube and I'm like oh let me try it out but maybe it's the shade that I got I'm planning on purchasing another one but in a different shade because maybe it's just the shade then I have my EOS chapstick which I bought this at the beginning of the month because it was starting to get really cold down here oh my god I wear this every single day like every single day like non-stop i wear it like i'm trying to get the other colors but the cvs where i live by only had this red one and like it was funny because as soon as i purchased it the guy in the ca the cashier he's like what is that i'm like it's a chapstick and then it, i seriously this isn't a conversation starter like everyone's like what is that what is that what is that and you can just start a conversation off of this chapstick it's so cool and I love it. It smells like passion fruit. I think it's summer summer fruit or something that's the, that's the flavor or whatever. But it to me it tastes like passion fruit which is my favorite fruit. Like not to eat but like have you had passion fruit juice? In Spanish is maracuya. I love maracuya. And that's what it tastes like. Anyways, on to the next thing. Really recommend it by the way. Is this Grow Luscious by Reblon Mascara? I'm sad to say, but I really don't recommend this mascara. And I'm very disappointed because I was expecting so many things off of it. Um, I think Jessica Beale is on the little pictures for this. And I'm like, you know, because right now, everything is about your lashes growing out oh this makes your lashes grow this makes them fuller in one month you'll see the difference well this is what this is for it's supposed to make the lash your lashes grow and let me show you this brush doesn't really tend to grab your lashes so i can put it on and it almost looks like no difference seriously it's like no difference i'm gonna do a tutorial on my favorite mascara and I'm going to show you this one. And then you're going to see the difference. If You can't tell the difference. So what I used to do when I used to wear this. Seriously. To do this haul. I had to go dig in the bottom of my makeup. Because I had even forgotten where, it, where I had placed this. Because I think I used it three times. And I was like. Waste of money. So I bought this. And I used to have to put this on first. And then layer it on with my Max Factor Mascara. Which I love from Remo. And that was the only way I saw anything. Because seriously, don't buy it. Do not buy it. If anybody else has gotten better results from this, please let me know. Comment below or I don't know. Just let me know. That I totally hate it and it sucks. I'm also sad to say that I relapsed. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I, what I'm what I'm talking about. Okay, if you remember, maybe two three videos ago. I think it was my haul that I did. I was talking about how doing nail design has stopped me from biting my nails. Well, I started biting them again. And it's not that I I started biting them again. It's that once one breaks, it's like I have to keep them all even. And now they're gone. And I'm so sad. 
and now I just need to start regrowing them again. I'm dedicated. But in the meantime, while I did have them long, I purchased a couple of products for my nails. The first thing I got was this Instant Cuticle Remover from Sally Hansen. And this, it dissolves dry cuticles in 15 seconds. That's what it says. So it's basically like a gel. This reminds me of that glue that I used to use in elementary school. Anyway, it's like a glue. Oh, it's like a gel. And you're supposed to put it all in your cuticles so that you don't have to cut them with the clippers with the you know the scissors that's what this is for you can just use an orange stick and remove all the dead cuticles away that way you don't you don't tend to cut yourself because sometimes with a with a scissor you tend to be really harsh on your cuticles and it just doesn't look very pretty the next thing I got is this Revlon crazy shine buffer it's a nail buffer and a nail shine. And on the on the propaganda, whatever, on the thing, it says it's supposed to make it like 800 times shinier. It does make it more shinier, but I don't know about 800 times. I mean, for that, you can just wear a, a clear um, nail polish, a shiny nail polish, whatever. Okay, so then I purchased these two nail polishes. This is from a um, nail... Uh, brand called 10 and this is in the color moonlight I got this because at my job we're not allowed to wear any colors on your nails you're only allowed to wear French manicure no nail polish or new nail polish so I don't have any new nail polishes so I had to go and purchase this because like I said I was trying to keep my nails on so that I would I would keep my nails painted so that I wouldn't have to bite them but it's really difficult to keep them painted if I can't wear any of my nail polishes at work. So I went ahead and purchased that, which I really liked. It's a very neutral color. It's very nice, very classy. And then this one is a No Chip from Sally Hansen. It's acrylic top coat. I use this with this, and it lasts me like three days. Which usually my nail polish doesn't last that long. I recommend it. I mean, it's very nice and it dries very really fast. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this perfume. I don't know how you pronounce this. I think it's toast. Toast. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm saying it wrong, I don't know how you can correct me. Maybe you can do a video and tell me how you say it. But I really love it. I love the packaging. I love this little bear. I think it's super cute, super adorable. I actually got it as a gift from my dad. He bought it for me and I have never gotten so many compliments on a perfume. Seriously, I have the Juicy Couture Viva, um, the Glamour, whatever it's called, Viva La Juicy. I have Gucci Envy Me. I have um, Sean John's Unforgivable. I have Paris. I have so many perfumes and seriously, I have never gotten so many compliments. So girls, I really recommend this one. Toast, toast, to whatever. <laughs> it's re it smells really good. It smells, let me tell you, it smells very floral, very floral. Which I'm not a girl that tends to go to floral perfumes. I like the juicy, the juicy, the fruity ones. But this one smells. It smells really good. I liked it from when I first got it, but I never expected to get so many compliments on it. Now this next part is basically gonna be me talking about more of my personal life so if you're not interested you know you can always change the channel or I don't know do something else but these are for my new subbies I'm so excited now I have 102 I believe I'm so super excited I'm so happy about that and I really appreciate you guys thank you for all your support and I really feel the love you know new subbies I'm so glad that you guys subscribed and I hope you like my new channel, well you like my new video. Hope I remain true to the reason why you subscribed in the first place. And yeah, thanks for watching.